Welcome back to Games Revealed. I'm James and also Brink. We are one. Today, I want to talk about what you need to know when opening up your Steam Deck to replace your SSD drive, your battery, uh, maybe a joystick. I've done this multiple times. I've replaced joysticks, drives, and whatnot. This is just a good course start to fooling around with your deck and preventing, honestly, the most common things that could happen to it. So this is not to say don't do it. This is to give you confidence in opening your deck and also avoid a couple of uh, pieces to it, right? So you can upgrade that SSD. Okay, before we get into it, make sure to like, subscribe, bash that bell with your crowbar. Now, let's switch over to overhead view. To get started, you're gonna want uh, this little plastic thing right here, it looks like a guitar pick. Phillip head screwdriver. You want it to be about this size, which is not a very, it's not very big, but not too small, or else you'll strip your screws, which can happen. And it's, so it's important to get it the right size. If you, the, and to get it in the right size, like you can get a toolkit, kind of like how um, I have right here with iFixit. It, and it comes with, you know, the whole set. So get different sizes for your screwdriver. Now, with it also comes this casing that you can, you'll see it has little notches in it. You can use that for uh, keeping track of your screws. And that's what I always do when opening my devices so I can keep track of where they go and uh, keep them kind of separated so don't get mixed together because then you don't get them sized wrong. Like sometimes you could put the wrong size screw in the hole and it could it, it, it can be a little bit of an issue. Now what I usually do is I always check to make sure that there's not an SD card in there. If there is an SD card, it will more than likely snap it in half. And it happens, it's happened to a lot of people. So I definitely want to like, that's the first precaution the first thing you should do is check for your SD card. After that is flip it over. Don't put too much pressure on your joysticks. You don't want to twerk them so much to where they will uh, just get broken. Then you're going to want to uh, take off each screw. Um, there's going to be four sets of screws on the outside for a uh, four set in the uh, middle. See already you can see with the Steam Deck, the outer screws are longer than the inner screws. Okay, now that you've gotten uh, all eight of those screws off, you can use the plastic piece. I also honestly, and you want to avoid something more metal because it, it can ding up these edges. Um, the plastic will help. Uh, I've done this so much that what I usually do is I start at these buttons and just put my fingernails in, clip it off, and then I just clip, slide my fingernails around in the edges and clip it open or, like I said, you can have a guitar pick. I, that's what I like to call them. I know that's not what they're called, but they're fun, it's fun to call them that. Uh, and just do the same thing as your uh, fingernails. And if you're getting a lot of resistance, make sure to check that you didn't forget a screw. Because it really should be about how easy I showed you, just barely. Um, and then once you pull it off, you'll get this uh, backside. Just set it aside. You don't really need to do anything with that for now. And then you'll see right here. Let's just, there is a teardown video that you can watch already, but we can look at my deck real quick and I'll just kind of explain a couple of components that are going to be stuff that you're probably going to want to replace at one point if you keep this long enough. The battery, the battery, it will eventually fail and you're going to want to replace that. Let's say if you want to keep this five plus years, um, there. The, the battery will degrade over time. That's just how it is. The the battery is for sure. The SSD is going to for sure degrade over time. Those two and then the joysticks. Those are probably the three points on this device that will be the stuff you're going to be replacing. Also, the fan could be replaced. And then also the buttons and other control parts in the, uh, the controller pieces in the front, like the D-pad. Those things can wear out too over time, but we'll see the durability with the Steam Deck's version of these. Uh, let's go over again. Battery, this is the left joystick, right joystick. Yours might not say the Gully Kit because uh, that's, I, I installed new uh, controllers that are more precise. And then you have the fan right here. You have the heat shield, the shroud right here. And you're going to notice that it's missing a screw right here. <laughs> 
I always get this mistaken that, no, this is actually from the case. So where the back side of the case goes right here, the screw that goes there actually tightens in to right there. And so don't think that you've missed the uh, screw or lost it. I've done that once or twice. Okay, there are three screws that you need to unscrew on this shroud. So we got the one right here, bottom left. We got one under this uh, metal tape. And then we got one up in this top left. Those should be what you need to take off. Once again, they're gonna be different sizes on the inside, most likely for most of these screws. So keep them separated, don't get them mixed up. You, you really can like get into a, uh, not into a lot of trouble typically, but you can get a little bit of trouble mismatching screws. And so uh, things just might not fit right. Now, once that's done, we can pull this off. It should just be able to come right off. Set it to the side. Okay, now this is where the APU lives. This is the heat spread right here that goes to the fan and helps dissipate heat. Then we have right here the SSD with a heat. Um, this is more of like a heat shield than anything. And then this is the power. I usually recommend when working with any device, I recommend powering off the device and then removing the power as you work on it. Right here is another screw that's holding down this drive. You can unscrew the drive. Take the shield off, take the drive out, and you'll see it is really small. I wouldn't recommend installing anything else except for a 2230 into the slot. There are ways to get a 2242 and a 22, uh, a, a chopped 2280 in here. I just, I highly recommend not doing it. It's just, especially if you're watching this video and you're, and you're kind of newer to this. So just pull this out, get your other SSD in there, throw it in. I will have in the description below, um, both the iFixit toolkit or another toolkit that's a little cheaper than this one links to that. And also to an SSD in the description below. I'll, I'll throw one in that I've actually already installed and it's worked fine in my uh, other deck. Just a note as we're, as we're still here in the back that the, uh, joysticks will require some soldering. If you want to be able to use the touch conductive portions of the top of the joysticks, where when you touch it, then the gyro starts to go off. It's a little sense indicator to uh, just add some extra functionality. It's not a must, and if you don't use it, then it's not the biggest deal, but you will be doing some soldering if you replace the, at least these joysticks right here. These triggers also can be replaced right here too. This is also a daughter board, these two right here. Daughter boards hook into the main board to complete the whole board setup. Okay, that is really it. Once you've uh, done all that, you got your new drive in. Okay. And once that's back together, everything's, uh, yeah, make sure the heat shield's on there. And then also just a couple other notes right before we uh, just shut this whole thing back up. Just avoid touching a lot of the, these different um, points together with something metal. As I've run into issues myself with this. Where you can potentially short something. It's not even static short, and that's especially if there's like power connected. That's another reason to sh to remove the battery uh, power. But there's also residual power that can still remain in the system. And on top of that, um, there's uh, just other pieces that you could potentially knock and break off. It's this is pretty well constructed, so I'm not too worried like doing normal maintenance like we've done so far. Once we're done, slip that power back in. You'll know that it's in when the light at the top goes off, but just make sure it's snug in there because this is one of the things that can happen in devices. This can get loose and then, and depending on how it twerks, it could actually pull out partially enough to where it will disconnect the power. I've seen this in some other devices, including my MacBooks actually. Okay, now that we have that all hooked up back up, let's put this shroud back on. So we have the little fatter top screw that goes right here under this uh, metal piece. Then we have these smaller screws that go in the bottom and top left. Now that we have those back on, everything seems to be in order, correct? You can just go ahead and start clicking it down. It will make crunching noises that might sound scary, but that means it's coming together. And if you don't hear that, then you need to go back through and uh, <laughs> put some pressure down. Now, remember what we said, the longer screws 
go on the outside. The shorter screws go on the inside. Be less worried about getting them overly tightened as just getting them tightened enough because too much torque will start to strip the screw head and then you won't be able to take it out again. And Or the next time you uh, take it off, you can't put them back in or if they get stripped, then you have to do some techniques to get them unstripped and then you have to get new screws. And uh, luckily for the Steam Deck, it's repairability in the sense of like uh, replacement parts and stuff like that is super high. This is probably one of the best devices for this type of thing so far that I've touched. I have taken apart a couple of their devices lately, and one of them being the Ion Neo, and that one is drastically more difficult to tear down and upgrade the SSD. It's also a lot more compact. With compactness comes that. This is probably one of the reasons why Valve went with a design like the Steam Deck, making it a little bit bigger, also allows for it to be a little bit more, more like a PC gaming console. It really adheres to our heritage. <laughs> and thank you for coming to <laughs> my history lesson on uh, PC gaming and the Steam Deck. Okay, once that is done, you've, you've looked at it, you've done all that, you've successfully opened it. It's looking good. You look at the edges. Just make sure everything's flush. You can put your SD card back in. Okay, and then power it on. Sometimes it can take a little bit for it to boot up after doing that. Um, it can take seconds for this screen to pop back up. So just give it a second. But if you installed a fresh SSD in there, you're going to have to reinstall SteamOS. And that's going to be another video down the road. But if you're really interested in that, uh, shoot me a comment below. Just let me know because the, the more people that want those types of videos, the more or likely I am going to do those. So we're gonna let it sit there. We know it's successful, everything's good. Now, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this. Was this a decent enough teardown? Did I do something that you think is wrong? Do you think I did something right? Did I miss something? Is there an extra tip that you would give to everyone else out there that's potentially gonna be opening this? The reason why I do this is because I have seen people mess up doing uh, just tinkering with their devices and all that. And while this, uh, a lot of, like, that's really simple. I, I know there's going to be people that are going to be nervous, people that don't know what exactly they're doing. And I just wanted to give that confidence and uh, just ability to be able to do that SSD swap yourself. Doing anything else is a, takes a little bit more work, but it's really not that difficult besides, you know, some glue. There are a little bit of things to just note when removing, let's say, battery screen and all that. Is there's glue involved with that. Just an extra step, not too bad. But if you're interested in videos like that, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Now go open your decks. Go enjoy having uh, just your fingers all over. No, don't do. Don't put your fingers on anything. But just be careful. Uh, enjoy the innards of your deck. And thank you guys for watching. Check out all the goodies below, including links to stuff that you can get to upgrade your device right here, and also uh, other links to my other videos and other stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Check you guys later. Peace out. Later. The whole. Now we get the back of our case.